This time on the Daily Misfire, we decided to swap literally all the stock suspension parts out of the front of the Nova and replace it all with CPP parts and Q1 shocks. So last time you saw the Nova, it was completely blown apart right here in the shop, or garage as you were. Um, literally the whole front suspension was out of the car, you know, spindles were away. It was a part, it was a mess. So I spent a month and a half cleaning, repainting, doing a whole bunch of stuff to that front end to make it ready to be able to receive the new to me CPP kit I got from a friend of mine. Um, and we ended up doing the CPP front suspension kit that has that big huge bracket. Um, I'll link the, here's a picture, I guess, from CPP, what it looks like. <laughs> um, so that front suspension kit's in it with Moog ball joints all the way through it. Um, QA1 shocks, they're single adjustable, just their star single adjustables. I'm not, I think it's stars, uh, for that one. Um. With my front runners on it right now, because one of the rallies has a really bad leak, so it's going to be waiting a little bit until we get that kind of situated. Um, so as you can see, the car's already on the ground. There's nothing to show you now, um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make all the video that I can find, because the idiot that I am, let me switch arms again, um, the idiot that I am misplaced some of the video that I took, you know, during this whole thing. So I don't know if I deleted it or what, but I can't find some of it. Can't find my original intro, so here's the intro you get. Um, as, along with all the video I took and to the point of where we're at today with the car, which is we've driven it down the block. Um, we haven't really gone anywhere with the car yet because it needs a lot. But um, yeah, so we're going to kind of hit a point right here. And then I'm going to start doing videos that are like 5, 10 minute long videos. And it's not, you know, half hour, 45 minute long videos because one, it's easier for you guys to watch these. And two, it's easier for me to make them. And three, I don't lose stuff because that happens when you're videoing and doing a lot of stuff at the same time. So with that being said, I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Um, and yeah, so there's going to be a whole lot of GoPro time-lapse stuff, and I'll kind of round off the end. If there's anything I need to kind of address at the end of it, I'll address it. So, with that being said, enjoy. Stupid thing. <laughs> it's amazing. Hang on, let me clean my lens real quick. It's amazing how hard it is to take off five rivets we don't have air tools. So my air compressor is up at the other house and I have an air hammer which would have made this way easier but it's in a box over there and I don't have air so I had to use grinders and hammer and chisel and drill bit to take out five so yeah that's kind of where I was at. My arms are a little tired. I can't really feel them right now. So we're going to probably take a rest because it's also dark. It's like 7 o'clock. I have to do some stuff in the house before work on t tomorrow because it's Sunday today. So I have like Dwight Schrute here from when he's like in first season. Okay. Well, that's kind of all I'm going to do tonight. And so you guys may see of me taking the other one off. You may not, but I don't really know because I'll be doing that kind of stuff during the week, like take one or two rivets off a night. <laughs> Pick it up a little bit because that was a lot. So slowly but surely, and don't call me Shirley. I'm just kidding.
You know what this bag is. Oh yeah. Nice fancy grade eight hardware to replace the stock, I'm sure, you know, 50 year old bolts that were holding up the upper control arms originally. And these are way too short for that beefcake of a <laughs> upper control arm. So I had to end up going to uh, Ace Hardware and getting ones that were about half an inch longer. And yeah, so that will be the difference right there. So survey says much better and that is pretty long. So I have that nut, that. And I also got locking washers and regular washers too, because I'm not sure 100% what it needs, but this is also good to have that extra length because um, I know for a fact that there's adjustment here that you can get. So these will help with any of that. So that way we can actually space this out and get the upper control arms in the right spot and, and adjusting the front suspension and getting it all where it needs to be so this being a little bit longer is a very good thing so with that being said i'm going to clean up a little bit under here because it is gross and then get some of my oil clean up mess and stuff since how it's sunny out still i'll clean up that kind of stuff and maybe put upper control arms on or something oh i forgot i needed more hardware that's unfortunate it's fine. I'll just figure it out as I go. <laughs> it's fine. We're good. All good. This is what happens when you move and you had, you know, all sorts of hardware at your house, but then all that, all sorts of hardware turned into a single box. That box right there, that uh, white and uh, metal box right there, that's where literally all of my hardware is currently. Aside from random bolts that I have in my toolboxes, that's where the majority of them are. And I doubt I have the right sizes I need for the bottom. So I have all the ones right there for that side, holding everything on for that ball joint. But on this side, as you can see, I don't have the four big ones. I only have uh, three smaller ones. So that's nothing like major that can't happen right now. I just didn't have them. So, uh, I will look around a little bit and see if I can find those. Otherwise, we're going to be putting upper control arms on and maybe putting like springs and stuff in. That might be kind of cool. Or at least kind of getting some of that stuff set up at least. So, yeah. Very long process. Arduous at this point. <laughs> but it'll be good. Well, when you're working on the car and your fiance is about to go work out, but then she decides to help you instead. Hopefully. I say this for like the fifth time in a row now. We actually get the car on the ground today. We'll get the upper control arms on, then we'll get the spindles in, and then put the tires on, and it should be rollable. It says here in fine print. We'll see if that actually happens. Time for the time lapse. GoPro it was dead so <laughs> I got the upper and lower control arms on everything's bolted in the ball joints are bolted in we still need to go get a um, grease gun because I don't have one of those but we can get one at Harbor Freight so now I'm working on getting these guys to compressed up and basically get them mounted up inside and then I'm gonna start working on getting the spindles in that way you know these are a chain they don't launch out of us you know, and try to kill you. So we'll get those in. What I'll probably end up doing is I'll put these in, get the spindles on, like each side I'll put one of the spindles on, and then um, after we get the spindle just on and bolted in, then we'll put, take this guy out, 
and we'll put the shock in. And then once the shock's in, then obviously it's retained. So um, we're going to have to kind of get to a point to do that. So now I don't know how much I'm going to film of actually doing that, like the action, because this is all from my phone now. So um, I don't know how much you'll actually get to see with that, but I'm definitely going to get this together and at least get it to where I can put tires on it today and set it on the ground. I don't know if like the exhaust and the radiator stuff will be in the car, but at least it'll be um, together enough to be on the ground with brakes and all that stuff to where, you know, all this is assembled. Um, I'll probably get that header rebolted and now that I have this guy on. Um, yeah, fun stuff. Very fun. Almost there. We are almost there. But all Moog ball joints, top and bottom on everything that's all Moog. CPP, upper and lower control arms, mini subframe kit. These are Mevo, Menvo springs. I'm not sure. They're like an OEM stock, just spring. Um, and then a whole lot of grade 8 hardware between Ace Hardware and Tractor Supply. whole lot of it. Um, pretty much everything that you see is grade 8 hardware that's holding all the important stuff in. Um, and then locking nuts on everything. That way it's all nice and retained. So, um, alright, I'm going to get to getting these on. And then hopefully you'll, the next thing you guys will see is uh, spring up with a shock in and spindles. Maybe ready and set. Yeah. Ta-da! QA1 shock. All CPP stuff. Right stuff brakes. I think it's right stuff brakes. <laughs> I think the rotors and stuff are right stuff now, right? Yeah. My slotted and drilled rotors. Fancy guy. Alright, let's go get the other side on. Adjustment. Right there. Let's go. Flakes. Yeah, that's cool. Let's set it to four. Just for hee -haws. Let's get the other side. Alrighty then. Look at this. Yeah, buddy. It's kind of dark. Let me go on the other side. Now that's really bright. You can't have just a normal brightness. Look at that fanciness. Don't mind the rest of the rotor. <laughs> we got CPP upper lowers, we got a QA1 shock, we got right stuff and brakes. The hodgepodge part. Look at that. All the steering's hooked up now. Now it's just drop the radiator, put the exhaust on, click the battery up, and the whole car is ready to roll. Tires, of course, and an alignment, and grease, I need to grease the ball joints. Okay, there's a little bit more that I need to do. But huge progress. There's spindles on, and cotter pins in, and like some ones of suspension being together. Mint. Alrighty, well, really good news. Well, I guess it's positive and negatives. As you can see, the note was on the ground. Woohoo! But if we revert back a little bit, you may notice the car's a lot higher than it was before. Like, a lot. Like, that's flush with the top of the tire. So, and before it sat like here ish. So, I think those stock springs that I had in Nova that, you know, were 50-something years old, 55 years old now, are very sagged out. The positive here is we have two-inch drop springs that we didn't use because I figured these are going to be way too uh, short and we won't have enough clearance with these. 
So we have these. So tomorrow, what we're gonna do is put, do what we were doing today, take this kind of a part to swap out springs and hopefully that gives us the right altitude and attitude that we want out of the car. So, and also it's just like, like here, let me set you down so you can see. Maybe there, we, we push it on the car. That's the softest possible setting for the car. <laughs> it just doesn't move. So, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> so we'll put the radiator in it, do a few things, and get this thing back together tomorrow, and hopefully do it out here where it's going to be sunny. Get the Camaro out so that we can mess with the Camaro a little bit, um, and then mess with this a lot. So I'm going to go in the house and eat and then i may put the radiator in tonight i may not we'll see but tomorrow this thing's definitely gonna pop off make the sound and be really cool so and hopefully we can get the attitude we want the altitude that we want out of the car i may roll it down the street a little bit just to see where it kind of sits but i'm thinking it needs to be swapped the springs need to be swapped so it's always something where you're working on hot rods right Radiator's going in. It's Sunday morning. Hopefully, we can get the radiator in, get the car out here, get it running and driving, and then put those springs in, and the thing will be lower. And um, but before we do any of that, we need to put the radiator in and get the car out here so we can actually see what the car looks like as high as it sits. I think it's gonna look really high in the front, but that's my personal. <laughs> <laughs> belief that what's going to happen here and it'll look like we need to put you know another, another 300 pounds in the front end or you know kind of coil out or something um so that's what we're going to do i need to get that thing in first though so i'm not sure if i'll put a whole lot of water in it because i don't want to waste any frames but we'll see Okay, well the GoPro needs to be charged, but you can tell, yeah, the Nova's almost, like, it's almost level now, so, yeah, that, that's, that needs to happen. Those other springs need to come in, and we need to put it kind of where that shadow is. That's where the tire needs to be. So, yep, that's what's most definitely going to happen. But look at that. It's running. It's outside. I haven't seen that in months. That's awesome. Woohoo! I'm sorry, car. It's all in the name of speed. I hope you understand. It understands. It gets it. All right. Well, update. So, Camaro's been washed and all nice and pretty again. Um, 
But on the Nova, if you look at it, it's definitely sitting a little higher, but it's not a bad look, honestly, for the car. And it's like half an inch low on one side versus the other side. So I think at this point, I have it really close and without having the shop and a lift and stuff to actually look at everything, I, I don't know what needs to be done. So this may be a take it to an alignment shop and have some like suspension alignment guy and have him take a look at it and like get a kind of a second opinion on what all needs to be done to it. There's a guy in town that my dad had uh, messed with his three quarter ton Chevy truck and he did a great job on that. So that may be the next step for the Nova. Um, that though, I drove the Nova just down the street and back. It doesn't have the sway bar on it. I'll put the sway bar on at some point. But I mean, just driving it up and down the street, I have better steering response already. I mean, it's already tighter. The steering's already tighter. Um, it doesn't, I mean, you can, it looks like it has a NASCAR suspension right now. Like the outside tires, like super like cambered in, like, you know, kind of looks like Volkswagen camber. Um, but I mean, having just driven it, I mean, it looks great to me so far. So I am very excited to see what happens when actual tires in the front, not just front runners with a sway bar, with it being aligned. I can't wait to see how it actually handles. So I think at this point I am going to put the Camaro up. We're going to finish bolting those tires on, um, like torque them and get them all kind of nice and on. Then wash the car, get it nice and clean. And it's going to go back into the garage until um, I'm able to take it to an alignment shop. So. And that is a wrap on this video. So what I was originally planning on doing was I was going to take it to the alignment shop and do some other stuff like that because I'm like, oh yeah, I'll get there in like a week or two. It's been like a week since I got the whole suspension done. So um, I think I'm going to put a mark on this video and make this, you know, the build up video. We had the take apart video. We had the build video. And now we'll have the run and drive, get the alignment done, do all this stuff. And we're going to go cruise around. Uh, and then get the 307 together for it and then we'll put, drop the 307 in and then we'll be ready to be a hot rod race guy so and hopefully the car runs you know 13s ish again so which will be awesome because i'm tired of driving like 1588s it's fun to a point but not very um so stay <laughs> with that being said i will see you guys later be sure to like and subscribe I literally posted that 400 video a couple days ago, and you guys are blowing up. It's almost a thousand views right now, which is crazy for my page. Um, so, with that being said, I'll be filming a few more videos. We're gonna be dropping the final build video for the shop of what it looks like now. It is awesome. I'm gonna go do some drone flying right now, get it together. You guys are gonna see this video first, and then that one. And then also, I got the Sweet Patina video. Not sponsored at all. I just bought some sweet patina stuff from from the guys and they are really cool and their product is awesome i put some on this car and i'm gonna put some on the dually uh, you guys will get to see some of their uh miracle century polish that's what it's called so, so if you want to see that be sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys later